All right, so this portion of the chapter, I'm going to fly by really quickly. This talk is going to be extra short since we had the animation and the brief discussion about bulk transport in the last video. What you should already know is that there are proteins that help move things into and out of the cells um, across the cell membrane. Um, polysaccharides, they're huge when you compare them to things like ions and water. And the reason why I am talking about polysaccharides specifically right now is because of the second bullet point. But anyway, um, because they are so large, um, we call them macromolecules, you already know that, and they're essential to life and they require energy in order to cross the membrane. So this slide is just straight up vocabulary. Exocytosis is how you would pronounce that. Um, you should associate exo with exit and cyto means cells. So exocytosis is the movement of things out of a cell or out of the cell. Um, the way it happens is the molecule uh, is wrapped up in a vesicle. The vesicle is moved to the cell membrane. It fuses with it and then it pushes whatever the molecule is out. Endocytosis is moving things into the cell. So endo, like inside, and then cyto, again, is the cell. It's the reverse of exocytosis. Um, what happens is the molecule lands on the cell, um, and then the membrane folds itself, or it folds in on itself with that uh, molecule being inside. Um, and it creates a vesicle that can transport whatever it is you're bringing into whatever destination is trying to reach inside of the cell so you got three kinds of endocytosis there's phagocytosis pinocytosis and receptor mediated um, endocytosis and the animators do a really good job here so i'm just going to go ahead and let them take over for the next couple slides endocytosis is the movement of materials into a cell via membranous vesicles Exocytosis is the movement of materials out of a cell via membranous vesicles. These processes allow patches of membrane to flow from compartment to compartment, reminding us that a cell is a dynamic structure. Exocytosis is the movement of intracellular vesicles to the plasma membrane, where they fuse with the membrane and release their contents into the surrounding fluid. This process occurs predominantly in secretory cells, such as mucus-producing cells or pancreatic cells, that secrete enzymes into the digestive tract. In endocytosis, membranes invaginate, or pinch in, to form a vesicle, moving the enclosed materials inside the cell. This process can take different forms, each involving its own specific cell machinery. In phagocytosis, or cell eating, the cell engulfs debris, bacteria, or other sizable objects. Phagocytosis occurs in specialized cells called phagocytes, which include macrophages, neutrophils, and other white blood cells. Invagination produces a vacuole, which usually fuses with one or more lysosomes containing hydrolytic enzymes. Materials in the vacuole are broken down by these enzymes and degraded. There are no words for this video, it's just showing you phagocytosis in action. So the cells are those uh, fluorescent green stains and then whatever they're engulfing is in the red. In pinocytosis, or cell drinking, the cell engulfs extracellular fluid, including molecules such as sugars and proteins. These materials enter the cell inside a vesicle. Epithelial cells in capillaries use pinocytosis to engulf the liquid portion of blood at the capillary surface. The resulting vesicles travel across the capillary cells and release their contents to surrounding tissues, while blood cells remain in the blood. Unlike phagocytosis and pinocytosis, receptor-mediated endocytosis is very specific. It is triggered when membrane receptors bind to specific external molecules, such as protein cholesterol complexes or proteins bound to iron. Membrane vesicles pinch off and the external protein and its cargo are brought into the cell. 
All right, so this is figure 5.18, exploring endocytosis in animal cells. Um, notice that the first one, phagocytosis, you have a bunch of different solutes that are out there in the extracellular fluid. Um, those are the green and the purple colored shapes you see. Um, then they're showing you like a food particle. It has become or has been invaginated by the cell membrane it's being taken in and once it goes in it has a um a membrane around it if you will so they're calling this a food vacuole and i don't like that because in the book it's saying that vacuoles are specific to plant cells and we've said that vacuoles are specific to plant cells i would rather call this a food vesicle um, but what are you going to do? It's like in print, right? So then in the next one, I say pinocytosis. I think she said pinocytosis. It's, it doesn't matter pronunciation, but again, this time we're not taking in, um, a food particle. We're taking in, uh, like smaller solutes. And then in the last one, the receptor mediated endocytosis, there has to be an attachment to this receptor that is present on the cell membrane once um the substance comes and attaches to it, it 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 causes the engulfing or invagination to happen and in with it comes the other solutes all right figure 15.8 excuse me figure 5.18-1 they're giving you a um, transmission of electron microscope um, version of what's going on. They use an amoeba. Um, notice that the foot part that they point out is called the pseudopodium or pseudo, it's a pseudopod, a false foot. Um, it helps it to move around, um, but it's not working in the way that our feet work. Let's keep going. All right, here's your second one. So 5.18-2. Now we're looking at the pinocytosis slash pinocytosis. Um, and you can see it again with the transmission electron, um, um, transmission electron microscope. The vesicle that is forming is much um, smaller. And then here we have a receptor mediated endocytosis situation occurring. So you have um, these receptors again that are present on the cell membrane then you have some binding that occurs and then the invagination and in with it comes some of the solute all right that's every one of them blown up bigger and we are out